Okay, so here's my Portland Pudgy on the trailer. So it's pretty much all set up. I need to, I just need to weigh, weigh the uh, ball and see how much it weighs. It should be about, uh, right here, it should be about, uh, let's see, the, the Portland Pudgy itself, right now it's empty. So the empty weight of it is, a, I believe, about 140, 145 pounds. Let's, let's say 150. Let's say 150. The trailer by itself, without any of the add-ons, is uh, 210 pounds. So I added the spare tire. I added the uh, the jack, the swivel jack here, the uh, um, the winch. What is it I added? Spare tire, jack, winch. Oh, and the little uh, what do they call that? The keel stopper or whatever it is. Right there, that little rubber thing right here. So uh, 210. Let's say everything that I added came up to 250. 250 plus 150, that's 350, 400, 400 pounds. 400 pounds, so tongue weight is supposed to be 10%. Between, you know, it should be about 10% to 15% of the whole trailer weight. So it was at 450, that means this one should be about 45 pounds, minimum 45 pounds. So right, 250, 350, wait a minute. 250, 350, 400, 400 pounds. So the minimum that means over here should be four, uh, 40 pounds. But actually, I haven't put anything in here yet. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna stick my outboard back here. The outboard is uh, I think fully loaded with gas. It's uh, 50 pounds. You know, it's a it's a two and a half horsepower Yamaha long shaft. So, so I think it's about 50 pounds or so. Uh, so that would be what uh, four. Wait, let me see, two 250. Let's say 250 and 150 is uh, 250, 3, 4, 400 pounds, 450 and plus whatever gear, let's say it's 500 pounds. So 500 pounds total total trailer weight. So that means this tongue weight here, where the ball is, should be 50 pounds uh, minimum. And so that's 10% and 15% uh, of, uh, of, of uh, 500 pounds is what? 10% uh, is 50 pounds. Uh, fifteen percent is uh seventy five pounds. So so it should be between fifty and seventy five pounds here. So I need to weigh that. Um, otherwise I'm done. Um, so I have to you know leave the winch all the way back here because the Portland Pudgy doesn't have a you know it doesn't have the hook at the uh, at the bow, but it has a two to towing trailer. The reason why they have that instead of just one, is because when you just have one, when you know, when you're pulling this behind your boat. Because you know, this is used as a din dinghy, right? One one use of it is, is as a dinghy. So so usually with dinghies, lots of times you tow it behind your 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 big boat. So you only have one hook. The boat will, you know, it will it won't stay straight. It will just keep on swaying back and forth, and that's that's not good for the boat. It's not good for the, the mounting points, and that's how they break. Uh, so it puts a lot of stress on it. But when when they put a two on the side. All of a sudden, it's, instead of swaying, it just and it centers itself. It's like it's self-centering. So it just keeps it stays steady. So that way, you know, it puts less stress on the mounting points. And also, when you have two points versus one, you know, you, you distribute the load. So you have less stress on it, less stress on everything, and everything's nice and stable. So, uh, so anyways, so because of that, you know, you have this basically split rope here. Why? So it, that creates a longer, longer stretch. And actually, this this thing is not even. There's not that much, uh, um, not that much uh, load on it. Anyways, it's you know it's just, it's, it's just lightly loaded, not too much load on it. Uh, the main load is is the tash, the ratchet straps. I have two ratchet straps on each side, and the pull and pudgy these little holes are here. This is where you would put the I think they call them davits. So I'm I'm completely new to, to sailing, so so I'm still trying to get out my terminology properly. So I think this is where you, where they mount the davits, so you pull up the uh, pull up the boat. Uh, you know, pull up the Portland Pudgy uh, onto a bigger boat, you know, you, you on a crane or whatever, on a hoist. So you pull up that way. So it goes through the hull, right here. It goes through the hull and you see, you see the line going through this side of the hull, and, but that's how it looks on the other side. So we got front and back and, you know, these straps are rated for 500 pounds each working load. So that's more than enough to hold down the Portland Pudgy. And, and you know, I, obviously I bought a pack of four Bought a pack of four, uh, so I bring the two extra just in case with me. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited. 
gonna take out take it out to tomorrow today's thursday tomorrow's friday gonna take out tomorrow go clamming and uh in Tomales Bay, I not see not Tomales Bay. Uh, yeah, Tomales Bay, Tomales Bay, uh, Bodega Bay, over there. So you gotta, you gotta bring the boat across the, the water channel to get to the sandbar. So this is it. Um, and you know the the Honda Fit's not really meant for towing. The Honda Fit's not really meant for towing anything, but uh, uh but this tow setup I have here it's it's, uh, it's you know supposed to be able to tow 2,000 pounds with a hundred pound tongue weight on the ball this trailer is meant to be um, I think this trailer is meant to carry 600 pounds plus the trailer is basically 800 pounds the whole thing should be 800 pounds uh, so as far as the rating of, of the trailer and the, the the hitch and all that stuff it's all fits it's just the car itself I think the car itself uh, if you look at the 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 spec on on the load of the car itself the maximum load that you could carry like you know all the passengers and luggage and all that stuff it's uh about 800 pounds or 850 pounds um so load wise uh you know if i have four people in on board well i don't know how many you know, i'm light i'm only i'm only weigh 135 probably 140 pounds with street clothes on so i'm pretty light uh uh let's say there's four of me Let's say let's round it up to 150 pounds. So that's four of me. That means that would be 600 pounds. So that so that means 200 pounds more of whatever gear, or whatever in here, would be the maximum. So so I'm uh, I'm under under the, the the load, the carrying capacity load for this car. Uh, but the tongue weight, you know, let's say it's at 75 pounds. That's still that's still under the you know 75 pound of tongue there. Still still under the load uh, load rating of this car. Uh, but again, like I said, I don't think the, I don't think this car is actually rated for towing anything. You know, it's only 1.5. But it's, the good thing is that it's a manual transmission. It's not that CVT garbage. If it's a CVT, you know, um, well, not all CVTs are garbage. The the the, the belt driven type CVT are garbage. Uh, those ones are not meant to you know have too much load on you know on them. But this is a manual transmission, so it should be fine. Uh, and it's geared really low too. The the fit is geared really low. Uh, so it's fine. Um, I believe it's fine. It'll be fine. Power wise, uh, I've you know probably fifteen over, yeah, probably about fifteen years ago. I used to have a Scion XP, you know, the Scion XP, the, the original Scion XP. So you know, it was a square round box, and it was uh, it was also one point five liters. That was also a manual transmission, um, and I I actually had a trailer back then that I towed two uh, two um, two scooters. And each scooter was about I don't know two fifty or so pounds, approximately two fifty. So that's five hundred pounds for that just for the scooters. And let's say the trailer was, uh, let's say the trailer, I think the trailer was actually smaller than this one. So let's say the trailer was a hundred and pound, hundred pounds. I, it was more than hundred pounds, but let's say hundred pounds. So that's still six hundred pounds. So that's still over hundred pounds more than this. And I and I told, I told uh, with with that car, you know, that with that little Scion XP. So the fit should be fine. Um, and it fits also 1.5. Actually, I think that it fits actually stronger than that Scion. If I can remember, the, the Scion was only like 100 and... I think about 110 horsepower, 115 at the most. Uh, the, the fit is uh, 100 and... I believe 120 horsepower or somewhere around there. So a little bit stronger. And I think also the fit, the gearing, I believe it's a little bit shorter too. So it's a little bit lower gearing. So, so they handled it just fine. Um, yeah, so that's my setup. So can't wait uh, for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the uh, my Portland pudgy on the uh, iron. What is it called? Can iron iron uh, iron ton uh, PWC you know, pushing a watercraft uh, trailer. Basically, it's meant for a jet ski. So remember, I added uh, I added the. Uh, the little keel bow thing about a guide or whatever it's called that little roller thing right here i added that i added the spare tire i added the uh the uh the jack let's see what else on here that i added oh yeah i added the wench so all those things and you know, the, the trailer itself weighs 210 pounds uh so all those things i added let's say let's 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 round it all up 
hang on. Let me include the uh, the uh, bob, the bob hitch, bob hitch, and the, uh, the 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 hitch itself as well. So let's include all that, and let's say everything weighs two hundred fifty pounds. Okay. So my Portland pudgy weighs, you know, the bear just the hull itself is I think one hundred and forty three pounds, I believe, about one forty three. Let's let's say one forty five. Uh, the Yamaha outboard I have. This is the two point five. Uh, this is the two point five horsepower. Long shaft. So long shaft. I think it weighs about uh, forty five pounds. The short shaft weighs about forty pounds. So that's about five pounds difference. Actually, I, I think this one's a little bit less than forty five pounds. But let's say forty five pounds. Uh, so so one. Uh, what did I say? Uh, one forty five. I say one fifty. Uh, to be safe, but you know, well, let's say 145. 145, oh, yeah, let's say 150 to be safe. 150, let's say this one's 50 pounds with full full gas and everything. Let's say 50 pounds because that, that, that the weight that they give you it actually doesn't include gas, so gas, oil, and all that stuff. Uh, so let's say that's 50 pounds, so that's 200 pounds, and all my you know, all my uh, boating stuff, life vests, and and you know, all this other stuff I have that I carry. And actually, that's I have more stuff in here than there is in here, like you know. All the stuff right here, all my the paddle and all this other stuff that you see here. Let's say everything weighs uh uh all that stuff uh weighs another fifty pounds. So basically the whole boat and everything, you know, uh outboard mode and all that other stuff, let's say it weighs uh two hundred and fifty pounds. So basically the trailer itself is you know, let's say two fifty, two fifty, so you have three uh five hundred pounds. And uh you know, earlier in the the the, the previous clip, you know, I don't have it attached now. Obviously, in the previous clip, you know, I, I showed the uh, my uh, my Honda Fit, and that's what I used to tow this thing, the Honda Fit. And uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yes, no, yesterday was Saturday. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was Friday. Friday, two days ago, I took this out. You know, uh, drove it. Basically, uh, I drove it almost three hundred miles, towing. You know, on the on the Honda. Towing this, uh, I think I went uh, about 285 or maybe 290 miles actually. Yeah, probably 290 miles. So I went, you know, just shy of 300 miles. Um, with uh, with me in the car and and uh, another person in the car. So two people in the car with this weight in here uh, on the Honda Fit and it just. It drove surprisingly well, really, really well. I was very surprised. It's like, you know, you notice the weight, obviously. You notice the weight, so acceleration isn't as fast, and also the braking took a little bit longer as well. But besides that, it it drove really well. It like the the Honda Fit handled this this trailer surprisingly well. It's just like I was so surprised. I was like, wow, it it, it really blew me away. I mean, I, I thought it would be a lot worse. Um, actually, if I have it. With the Honda Fit, with uh, uh, if it's full of people, you know, four people, maybe even five people, it drives worse than it did with two people versus towing this. So this, so two people in the car and towing this, it, the Honda Fit drove better than uh, than than having say four adults in the car. You know, four adults in the car, uh, it's it's more sluggish. Uh, you know, it doesn't. It takes longer to accelerate. It takes longer to brake. Uh, it doesn't handle as well. You know, when you when you thing turn and stuff, it doesn't handle as well. With even with this, you know, five hundred pounds that's towing. When I was driving, handling, uh, it, that that wasn't it. Did, this weight of the trailer and towing it didn't affect the handling very much. So so that that really surprised me. I thought it would, but uh, but it didn't. Um, uh, so I guess it's it is it is easier to uh, tow whatever weight versus carrying the actual. The same weight on the vehicle because uh, if this is 500 pounds let's see if i have four adults you know including me let's say uh that's uh that's this is still heavier than you know it was this is this trailer here is still heavier this trailer and me and the other person is still heavier than having four adults maybe five adults might be the same same weight so that means it would be three three additional adults uh See three. If this is whole thing's five hundred pounds. Three adults. That would be what. Out of five hundred pounds, that means each adult would weigh what? Uh, what one hundred seventy-five pounds? Is that right? One seventy-five. One, two, three. No, more than one seventy-five. 
sub uh, subsidy. Anyways, you know, full grown adults. Uh, but this thing, you know, it it didn't affect the 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 Honda Fit as much as I thought it would. So it drove really well, and I was surprised. It, and it handled it just fine. Now, you know, going you know, obviously going uphill is a little bit slower. Uh, but it still felt better than carrying all the, all you know, all the people inside the car, of you know, a car full of people. Um, it's the, the it's the whole point. So, so it handled it fine as far as gas mileage. But you know, when I'm in in the car by itself, driving, um, I usually get the. Uh, well, I don't know. Depends on how I drive though. But let's just say you know I'm taking you know I'm just driving normal. I usually get about. 350 miles or so or, or close to 350 miles for each fill up with this because I started with the full tank with this you know driving yesterday I got uh, I think I got just shy of 300 miles I think before you know oh, I mean, obviously I didn't go all the way to empty but uh, but uh, I probably had like a what you know I probably had one one gallon left or so but anyways I uh, uh, if I estimate the mileage I probably got uh, I probably uh, Got about 300 miles of range, so basically I, saw, I lost about 50 miles, you know, carrying this, and uh, and you know, two two people in in the car, so that was uh, that wasn't actually that bad either. I thought it was gonna be worse. I thought it was gonna be uh, uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna be worse. So you know, because 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 this trailer is so short, you know, from the 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 where the hitch is to the the uh, bow the the bow of the uh, boat. It's pretty short, so it's obviously and it's and it's shorter than the the car itself, right? Because the, the car is actually taller, so basically the this trailer and the boat and everything, it's it's within the um, the uh, the the aerodynamics of the car, you know, the stream streamline of the car. Uh, so so it, so it wasn't that bad. Now, other thing is that this, this trailer is actually narrower, you know, from one end of the to the other end over here. It's it's narrower than uh, than the fit. Uh, so so if I look at look in my my side view mirror, I actually can't see the I can't see the side here, because because again the Honda Fit is actually wider, wider than this. But you, actually you can see the see where the tires is, and the metal grate, so, you know it's about halfway. And over here it's a little you know a little bit inwards, whereas the Honda Fit, the Honda Fit the inside of the tire will actually be at the concrete right here, so it doesn't it doesn't touch the grate. On both sides, so that right there shows you that you know it is you know, the Honda Fit is definitely uh, you know at least four inches wider on each side. So it's, so the Honda Fit is at least uh, eight inches wider, if not more than that, if not if not a uh, um, closer to a foot wider. So it's in the in the aerodynamic envelope of the the Fit. So that's so I think that's why the uh, driving wise it didn't. I didn't feel you know I felt I felt it is obviously pulling, but I didn't feel that much drag on the car. It didn't feel it didn't feel you know I didn't feel that that air drag, much of an air drag on the car. But uh, also remember that the hunt my Honda Fit is a uh, is a manual transmission, so so it pulled it really well. I had no no problems whatsoever. So so yeah. So the whole time I wasn't sure before I you know before I started towing, but it it tows really well. Um, and also this trailer is really short too. It's so short and the fit was really short so so and uh, you know I never really have I don't have much experience towing a trailer. I've only done it a few other times before. Um so I didn't have that much experience towing a trailer. So going forward it was fine. But backing up, man, because because the fit is so short wheelbase and this trailer is also really short. Man, it turned, you know, when you when you back up on a trailer, it's it's very easy to to turn it and it turned so quick. Oh, it turned a lot faster than other other trailers that I've uh, that I've towed. Uh, that I, you know, that I've driven uh, in the past, where you know, where 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 I was backing up. This one turns a lot faster just because of that short wheelbase. Uh, so it took me a little bit of time to get used to, and actually, I wasn't really really able to do it very well using the uh, the reverse mirror or the or the reverse camera or even the the side side mirrors. Uh, I had a really hard time doing that. But when I left the hatchback open, and I look and I physically turned my head and looked back towards the back, and I could see the trailer. I was able to to maneuver it just fine. It had no problems whatsoever because because you know you, you can see it better. You know it's it's, a, it's better feedback that way. It's, it's a direct line of sight, the, the direct feedback. Versus looking in the mirror, it just you know because the mirror you're already looking at a, a the, at the opposite direction to begin with in the mirror. So 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 that really throws you off. Uh, 
Uh, so anyways, so yeah, so that's my uh, my thought on, on the whole trailer setup and, and everything and how it goes. So um, yeah, so for the folks that was, were curious, you know, how well this trailer did, the trailer did great. I thought it, it did great. Uh, the boat did on it great. The Honda Fit towing this trailer and everything did great. So yeah, so I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm uh, so yeah, so I'm definitely gonna take be taking this out more, more often and and now now I know how it how it handles and everything. I don't have any concerns anymore. Uh, before I was still wasn't sure, but now I have like, like no concern. Uh, obviously, you know you should go go to speed limit because the, the, this this um, these tires here they do have a, a 55 speed, you know, for the tires. But I, I actually got up to uh, 65. Even at one point, I got up to 70 for really short. Shortly, I didn't, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to my speed, and it did fine. Uh, you know, this is just sort of a, a precaution. It doesn't mean it's, doesn't mean it's, um, it doesn't mean that it, you can't pass that. But you know, you should stay with, you know, within that limits for for it to be safe, uh, very safe. If, if you're in this 55 limit, it's very safe. Uh, when you go faster than that, then that's when the, the risk increases. Um, I'm also thinking about, uh, I mean, I probably won't, probably not gonna do it, but uh, I'm thinking about uh, damn dogs. So uh, so I thought about uh, replacing these, these, you know, these wheels and, and, and uh, possibly, I was thinking about replacing the tire with like a real car tire. Cause this, these trailer tires, they're not very, they're not very sturdy. You know, they're not made very strong. Uh, for example, let's see where is it on, on here. Uh, no, that's the max load. Max load is not that high either. Max load is yeah, it's all right for the size, I guess. Uh, but let me see somewhere on here. Oh, I can't see it now. Where is it at? Maybe it's on the other side. Anyways, uh, I was thinking of uh, uh, possibly replacing the tire or even the whole uh, wheel and tire and putting in like a car a car wheel and tire because if you look at the car wheel and tire they actually it actually holds more load um you know for or possibly even a different size but the thing is different size you know, because this is a 12 inch and the thing with the, this 12 inch is that they don't make car tires in a 12 inch not that i can see at least not tire rack tire rack doesn't have any car, 12 inch car tires at all uh, but they have 13 inch car tires and then they have uh I think 11 inch as well and the 11 inch and even 10 inch and the, the 11 and 10 inch is actually meant for uh the mini cooper you know the classic mini cooper not not the new ones um so i was thinking oh yeah maybe i could find a, a rim for that and hopefully the boat pattern fits if i could do that that would actually work and it will actually lower the if i did the the, the 11 inch or 12 inch it will actually lower the uh yeah, you know, small, small, small wheel would actually lower the, the the trailer a little bit, so that actually helps with the center of gravity. But the bad thing about that is that smaller diameter means it's going to be a bumpier. You know, it's going to be bumpier. So, but it, it might not matter much because you know this this trailer is so light, anyways. That might not matter. So, anyways, that's just my thought. All right, thanks for watching.